You're mentioning, you know, your record, uh, very successful as governor of Texas. One of the areas that you were um, strongly applauded and supported in was your area of Second Amendment and gun rights. We've seen an administration that has been hostile towards the Second Amendment to gun owners. And what would your position be as president? Would you continue the same ardent support for the Second Amendment? Well, obviously, I happen to think that, uh, you know, individuals who've been trained, background checked, should be able to carry their weapons. I'm one of those that uh, do believe that... Uh, one of the reasons that Texas has the lowest crime rate since, it's ha since 1968, I happen to think, is because we passed concealed handgun license law in the state of Texas. And we heard all the arguments, Eric. We heard people saying, oh, if you do that, you're going to have shootouts on the street. And it didn't happen. I mean, what we have is a state... Uh, now, that's not all of it. Part of it is an, uh, criminal justice reform that we put into place uh, where we're sending the clear message that people are going to lose their uh, their opportunities to succeed in life because they made a mistake and we didn't throw them in jail and throw away the key with uh, offenses that were drug related and nonviolent in nature mm -hmm. uh, and we've had extraordinary uh, impact by that it's been in place now for eight years we shut down three prisons in the last four years and we saved two billion dollars but more importantly there are a lot of young men and women whose lives are not destroyed. Mm -hmm. And that sent a message along with the economic policies that we put into place that you get to have a good job. Uh, African American graduation rates are number one in America in Texas, mm -hmm. as well as Excellent. Hispanic. I mean, that's the story that we tell people is if you want to live free, uh, you want to keep more of what you work for, you want to have a chance to have a, uh, a, a real uh, life that's unlimited in its possibilities, these are the policies that work. And all of those, you live in a place that's safe and secure, you get to keep more of what you work for. I mean, isn't that what we want for America? And, yeah. I mean, and that's my message to people is that the best years of America are in front of us. I, I believe it with all my heart. We just there are a few good policies and a leadership change at the top from the best years America have ever had. All right, Harlan.